All eight ski areas around New Mexico are now open. Speaking of snow, Action 7 News reporter Justin Matthews was on a really tough assignment today. He shows us all the slopes we can now shred in Albuquerque's backyard. The Cindia Peak Ski Area opened today on a bluebird winter's day. Driving up the back way, it looked a little, little discouraging. Mm -hmm. There wasn't too much snow, but once you get here, it's a winter wonderland. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. Skiers and snowboarders strapped in and hit the runs. The Duke City's backyard winter playground, the Sandia Peak Ski Area, open for business. It's excellent. It, the snow is great. It's, it's uh, mostly been groomed and the skis, there's no rocks to be found. I didn't hit any rocks. This ski area opened right on schedule. Last year it opened a bit later between Christmas and New Year's. Right now about half of the mountain is open. It is what it is and I mean usually we don't even have this much snow at this point. I mean I've seen a couple years where we're only riding the bunny lifts. Ski area managers say crews up here have been working hard to groom the runs. Ski patrols done a bang up job getting the mountain ready and it's been a fun day. The steeper, more advanced terrain is not open yet. Sandia Peak is going to need some more snow to get those open. The hope now is that it continues to stay cold for snowmaking and maintaining the snow base. But with lifts running, okay. skiers and snowboarders say they're happy to be shredding on their hometown hills. I couldn't live any place where there wasn't skiing. <laughs> nice. But they've got great skiing here between here and Santa Fe. It's, uh, it's wonderful, easy to get to. Between now and January 5th, the Cindy Peak Ski Area will be open every day. Then after January 5th, it'll be open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and holidays. Reporting at Cindy Peak, Justin Matthews, KOAT, Action 7 News. Lift tickets are $55 for adults and $45 for teenagers.